Hey folks, welcome, welcome to yet another powerful video on how to start your restaurant business. My name is Gopal Kamath. I am a restauranter and the founder of Get Your Restaurant, where we teach you how to start and succeed in the food business, create a profitable and sustainable food business for yourself so that you can create a better standard of living and live a great life and enjoy one of the best businesses on planet earth. So today we have our own topic, which is restaurant business one-on-one, -on -one, a comprehensive guide for beginners. So what I mean by that is these are the 10 points which you have to focus when you start a food business. I get a lot of queries since I'm a restauranter myself, as I told you, I have, I get a lot of queries where people tell me that they want to start a chain of restaurants or they want to start four restaurants, five restaurants, or you know, uh, uh, they want they want it big because they are seeing all the big chain of chains of restaurants doing crores of rupees in sales, lot of rush everywhere whenever they go on Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and it's natural to uh, feel that you should own a restaurant business, and uh, it looks very simple, although it is not that simple. But I would say that it is not that complicated also to start a food business. So before I start on this beautiful video where I intend to share with you 20 years of my experience uh, of running my own restaurants as well as setting up restaurants for my clients all over the uh, country. Uh, if you really love to start a food business or would like to learn a food business, I highly suggest you, uh, you subscribe to this YouTube channel or the, follow the page wherever you are watching this video and uh, do press the bell icon, share it with your friends and family, whoever wants to start a food business because this is, I believe, one of the only place on the uh, internet where a person who is already doing a food business is actually sharing his experience. Otherwise, all the other uh, channels which I see, they are just putting out information without any uh, experience or without even having had run a restaurant. So if you really want authentic information, please uh, uh, subscribe to this channel as well as share, uh, share it with your friends and family and press the bell icon. So now let's start with today's topic, which is restaurant business one on one, a comprehensive guide for beginners. Now the first topic which I want to uh, really, really talk about is uh, in just a moment. Really, really want to talk about is what uh, who is going to run the show? Who is going to? So, the first topic of discussion is who is going to run the show? What I mean by that is when a owner or a person who wants to open a food business wants to start a food business. Sometimes uh, they are doing their own job, they are doing their own business and uh, they are little clueless. They said that we will put the money, we will put the investment but somebody else will run the show. So I, uh, if, if you ask me, I strongly suggest if this is your first restaurant and if you plan to be successful at it, which of course is the ultimate intention, then I would suggest that you roll up your sleeves and you enter into this business at least for initial six months to one year till the, you know all the uh, tricks of the trade. What I say, so it is not uh, advisable to put all the operational uh, duties on somebody else initially. Once you have started a business, once you are successful at it like how I have done, then you can keep the managers, you can keep the checks, you can keep the systems and you can keep the checklist and all and you can follow it up but initially at least for six months to one year till you know the trick of the trade till you know how things go how the profit is done where how to reduce the wastage how to avoid pilferages and thefts and everything i strongly suggest you run the show yourself now second point is what's your concept location and target clientele now these are the three most important topics or most important pillars of a successful food business, any kind of food business it might be. Now, what is your concept? Are you going to open a home kitchen? Is it going to be a cloud kitchen? Is it going to be a small restaurant? 
Is it going to be a big restaurant with AC, non-AC? Is it going to be a lounge is, with bar? Is it going to be a normal bar? Is it going to be a, a roadside thela? Is it going to be a catering business? Is it going to be a highway dhaba? There are so many concepts and I believe that uh, you have to first choose your concept and the location and which target clientele are you going to choose. So now let's say you want to go after, for example, you want to go after college people. So you can open a restaurant which is nearby a college or a university or where there are a lot of youngsters moving around and your concept should be matching that particular concept uh, with that particular location. So if you are having a youngster kind of a target clientele, then between the teens, between around uh, uh, 20, 15, 18, 22, 30, 35, you can open a cafe and it can be a hybrid cafe where you can give them a lot of, it could be a mix of all the things like pizza, pasta, burger, sandwiches, momos, shawarmas, along with tea, coffee or milkshakes, mojitos and all. So you have to choose your concept, your location as well as your target clientele. As far as location is concerned, I have seen many people choosing a location based on the rent of the property. This is a very big mistake because if your rent is low, but the location doesn't have that kind of potential, you are not going to make a business and uh, it, it might not work. So you have to choose the right concept, the perfect location and the right target clientele, which will match your concept as well as your location. That is the second point. The third point is what and where is your budget? What I mean by that is where are you going to raise the funds from? If it is a home kitchen, I don't think you require that kind of money. You might open a food business from home within a couple of thousand rupees. But if it is anything above and beyond the home kitchen, if it is a cloud kitchen, if it is a restaurant, you need at least a couple of lakh rupees, two, three lakhs up till depending on how uh, deep you want to go and you want to start that particular business. Now, what is your budget and where is it going to come from? What I mean by that is, you cannot just announce that I am going to open a restaurant and then start looking for money. You have to get the money, even if it is, uh, please don't take it as a financial advice, but if it is, uh, uh, you have a certain margin amount and you have to take a loan, that is also fine, doesn't matter. But you have to make a provision first before you go out there and you start your own food business. Yeah. So that is the third point. Fourth is your property agreement and licensing. The, this is very important. Your property means where, we, what is the place, what is the commercial place which you are going to choose? Where is it? The location as we spoke about. Second is agreement. I strongly suggest you do and please don't take it as a financial advice but do at least a four to five years agreement because it takes around six months to one year for your food business to come into profit. It might be a little early, three months to six months. But once your business starts making a profit and if you have done just a 11 month agreement, then you lose the power because your landlord has the power. He might decide to double your rent and he might decide to even throw you out. So, you know, your your all your uh, uh, trouble, whatever you have taken, the mehnat which you have done will not uh, be of profit to you. At least five to eight years of, see, because this you, you should be in for a long run with a lock-in period of at least two to three years should be advisable as far as uh, opening a restaurant is concerned and choosing your property is concerned. And then again, licensing is another factor. I have done a deep a deep uh, video on licensing on my channel. You can find it on my channel and just uh, go through it. Yeah. Great. Now, fifth is your team. Where are you going to recruit your team and how are you going to retain it? Recruiting usually happens through Nowadays to social media where you go on Facebook, you join all the different restaurant job portals and groups, post your, uh, uh, post your uh, uh, vacancy there and you start get, getting people, you make them do the work. If he is a manager, you ask him how you, have, how you are going to manage the show. If he is a waiter, you can tell him how, to, uh, how are you going to serve and uh, take some references, talk to some people whom they have worked with earlier to find out their character and find out whether they are really honest or no. And if you are hiring any cooks or chefs, you can just take a food trial, let them make all the things which they know, just taste it and if you like it 
and if you like the person you can always uh, hire them and retaining is very important recruiting always happens you get lot of people who want to join you but retaining is when you really take good care of them i have recorded a detailed video on how you can uh, how you can take care of your uh, staff and how you can retain your staff kindly find that uh, on my channel and uh, go through the go through it because that is also very important as far as recruiting is concerned you can go through online portals you can go through job portals there are so many online uh, uh, hotel job agencies online and uh, you can pay their fees and you can just post your this thing and you will start getting as many candidates as you can depending on your location yeah so that's how what the fifth point is sixth is planning your restaurant so planning is very important and uh, if you if you are having a place and you don't plan it properly like for example your cash counter your sitting area your uh, waiter's uh, uh, desk or rather your dumb waiter we call it as a dumb waiter what i mean by that is a complete uh, cupboard with where the waiter can keep all his uh, equipment like his uh, service tray crockery cutlery um, uh, tissue paper stand and uh, toothpick stand and all those things so that is the external area your wash basin where will be your uh, water area where you are going to uh, where you are going to fill the water and serve it to there so that is the external area the internal area is your kitchen how are you going to plan the workflow for the kitchen where how is the staff going to move how where would be the pre preparation of the food where would be the actual preparation of the food and where will it be plated so all these things have to be planned properly and uh, that is uh, your sixth point where you properly plan your kitchen seventh is your branding and interiors your restaurant name what it stands for your logo your color theme and you can take forward that same color theme in your decor and your interiors where you know uh, it should not be that your logo is different your name is different your oh, your outside board color is different and inside you go something else is there so you have to keep that continuity and that is and please try to use lot of food colors uh, in that what i mean by food colors is you can go and check on google uh, there are specific colors which are favorable for food like yellow and all all those things so you can just find out which are the uh, type color chart or like uh, type color uh, chart on google and you will find it and that is where you can uh, get uh, the branding done i suggest if you have a good branding agency who has done a good job with other restaurants you can hire them to uh, create your logo as well as your color theme and uh, give a little bit inputs in your interiors also so that is the seventh point the eighth point is your menu offerings and pricing how are you designing your menu of course i have done a detailed video for you uh, on the menu you can find out on my channel and uh, how you design your menu what can be your entry point the, uh, the, what can be your uh, attraction menu item what can be your cash cow menu item and what can be your profitable menu item so all these things are covered in the uh, menu uh, video which you can always go ahead and pricing the pricing also has to be intelligently priced you cannot price too high or you cannot price too low the reason is wherever your restaurant is nearby all the other restaurants the customers are going to all the other restaurants so they, they can compare all the restaurants so please don't try to underprice your product also because when if you underprice your product let's say you talk about pav bhaji and uh, so everybody is charging 150 rupees pav bhaji and you will think okay i will charge 99 rupees and i will make lot of money that is not possible first of all if you charge 99 rupees you will start making loss immediately and you will only make profit if you have a right volume of business and it is going to take time so ideally i would start if everybody is charging 150 you give a good quality good material use purest of the material like amul butter and everything and start charging 160 or 170 so that the customer can come in at least uh, if not more start with 150 don't underprice your products because that is going to uh, really really uh, that is actually a uh, natural way of thinking that i will underprice and you know sab log mere paas aayenge it's not like that it doesn't happen like that and the 
biggest mistake uh, which people do is enterprise their menus thinking that everybody will come and uh, uh, you will you know you will uh, you will be a millionaire it doesn't happen like that so please keep a eye on the menu offerings as well as the pricing now the ninth point is your promotions promotion is very important uh, gone are the days when uh, there are a lot of restaurants and uh, people used to know by name nowadays you know if you are in front of the pe uh, people only then the people will come and have food at your place because there are so many restaurants in the marketplace different different categories different different price points different different uh, offerings different different menus different different target clientels so uh, you have a very very important point of standing out of the competition by coming in front of your customers again and again use instagram use facebook create reels uh, engage bloggers uh, get uh, the videos done from them use the same videos and create uh, in, uh, instagram and facebook real ads and uh, start showing up in front of your target clientele so that they remember you whenever they open their phone and they go ahead and they start their uh, they go ahead and they visit your food business yeah nine and the tenth is profitability your focus from day one of opening a restaurant business should be making profits how much ever profit you make will always depend on how focused you are for your costs how focused you are for your expenses how focused you are for save, uh, reducing wastages how focused you are on reducing the resources your light bill your everything and how focused are on increasing your sale the more sale and the lesser the cost the more remaining profit will be for you so these are the 10 most important points to start a food business and succeed at the food business now i know a lot of times uh, uh, th just the concept is not enough you require uh, somebody to hold your hand in order to start and prof uh, profitize or optimize your food business so for that matter in that in that case if you really want to learn and go deeper into starting your food business i have created something called as a restaurant launch formula coaching program now what is a restaurant launch co formula coaching program you can go here and you can visit my website www.gopalkamath.in now restaurant launch formula coaching program which is rlf coaching program is a step by step video guide on how to start and succeed in the food business everything and anything which is required for you to start any kind of food business is covered in the coaching program but not only that i have recorded the videos putting my all 20 years of experience but along with that which you have lifetime access to this video course along with that i am going to come live each week on tuesday at six o'clock on a zoom call and face to face solve all your questions and uh, to help you out to clear all the blocks which you have and to help you to start your food business so if you are really serious about starting a food business go to this uh, www.gopalkamath.in it's a paid community it's a paid co coaching program it's not free like uh, youtube but this is for people who are uh, this is for people who are uh, serious about learning and starting their own food business or this is for people who are existingly owning their food business and they want to optimize it they want to scale it they want to increase their profit increase their uh, uh, increase their uh, profitability their sales as well as the other parameters so i hope you like the video please uh, share it subscribe to this channel again go to www.gopalgamot.in if you are if you want to learn more deeper into starting your food business by the way the link is also given in the description section just click on it join if you like it and i'll you, see you in the rlf coaching program and uh, share this video with your friends and family and i will see you in the next video bye bye everybody love from me bye bye